I'm Nicole. I'm coming in today for the day shift in the extended care unit. I'm going to go to the office first and drop my things off. Have my lunch. I'm going to grab my stethoscope and get a snack before I start the shift. And we have lots of great snacks in here. I'm going to get a kind bar thing for today. And now I'm going to head out to the extended care unit. I'm going to start off my morning here in the extended care unit. It's also known as the EDECU. Um, and we are going to see what it looks like today and what the patients. It, the EDECU is a 24 7 hour unit with 14 um, beds. And today, I, it looks like I'll be providing care for five patients with asthma, one with dehydration, we have two with cellulitis. Another patient awaiting the OR after swallowing a quarter, and three patients requiring behavioral health evaluation and placement. I'm also currently going to check their orders and prepare to round with the attending this morning. And it looks like I'm also uh, planning for three patient admissions from the main emergency department. This team is staffed by myself and another. Um, advanced nurse practitioner who we both cover the day and evening shifts. Hi, so we're going to go check on Amy. She's a nurse practitioner working in Team 1 today. Right, or I need a so you're working in team one today? Yes, I'm working in team one today. Team one and team two are 24-7 teams, um, and they uh, function pretty much similarly, and there's about 32 beds um, between the two teams. Uh, the patients, we have a different acuity, urgency, and chronicity of them. They have a variety of diagnoses, and we're responsible for performing procedures such as lumbar punctures, foreign body removals, laceration repairs, incisions and drainage, sexual assault, assault evidence collection, and we consult with uh, the multidisciplinary team here. So in team one and team two, our teams also cover the trauma bay. So over this way is where our trauma bay is. Uh, Children's Hospital of Philadelphia is a level one trauma center, and we have three beds in our trauma bay. Mom, bed one, two, and three on the other side, and all the supplies and stuff on the wall. And we also have a helipad here at CHOP. Okay, now we're going to check in with Jennifer. She's a nurse practitioner working in the behavioral health unit today. Hi, Jennifer. How's your morning going? Good. Today I'm working in the behavioral health team. The behavioral health team here at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia is a four-bed unit. Um, keeping in mind the patient's safety is of utmost importance. We have a collaboratively team approach where we work with social work, the attending team, and the entire behavioral health team in order to meet the needs of the patients. This team is covered by the nurse practitioner and an attending physician and related flock and team members.
We're gonna head to team three now where Sandra, the nurse practitioner, is working. Let's go say hi to Sandra. Hello. Hi, hi. you're in team three today? How's your day? It is typically very busy. So yeah, it's busy. This is um um this is a respiratory cohort. This is a six bed part of team three, which is run by the nurse practitioners. And um, we see patients here that have um, mainly respiratory illnesses. Um, so we see a lot of asthmatics um, and other kids that have complicated respiratory issues. Um, and again, this is run by the nurse practitioners, which is, um, so it's kind of our area. So we're very proud of this area. And our wonderful nurses. And John, our PCA who works with us. So, uh, so we all kind of work as a team. Team four. On our way to team four, we pass radiology where various um, x rays can be done on all the patients. And we're going to check in on Avante, is the nurse practitioner today in team four. We'll see what she's doing. I'm working in team four today. This team is made up of 10 rooms total and it's initially as a fast track area but it can flex to manage higher acuity patients based on the ED volume needs and we do varying procedures here as well that includes lacerations and INDs among others. check in on Meredith. She's a nurse practitioner doing follow-up today. Hey Meredith, you're doing follow-up today? Hey yes, I'm doing follow-up. I'm uh, calling about lab results um, that have been resulted from the ED visit. Um, I'm calling parents and the primary care physicians back about any questions that they've had about their patients. Um, ER visit, I'm sending letters, and I'm also calling the pharmacies um, if they have any questions about medications. 